Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, how many of you guys like the dollar store? So today's video, yes, involves the dollar store. I am heading to the Dollar Tree to do a little DIY project that was inspired by MN Plant Mom on Instagram. I'm gonna put her name up here so you can go follow her. Um, Pam, thank you so much for these ideas. I'm so excited to try this out. Uh, we were chatting yesterday and we're gonna be doing a plant swap and she was showing me some of her planters, her containers in her yard. And uh, they're so cute, even like during the day and at night. So I was like, hey, uh, can I steal that idea and totally try it myself? She's like, sure, take it and run with it. And I was like, uh, can I do a video on it? <laughs> So she was nice enough to give me this idea. I'm totally copying this idea, but I thought if it was as easy as she said it was and I can try it myself, maybe you guys can benefit from it too and try a very inexpensive solar light hanger for your garden. For th These can be stuck in the ground. These can be stuck in planter boxes like she has them, which I think I'm going to try to do that. We don't have a lot of planters in our garden yet, but we do have a little mini like veggie garden. So I thought I could stick them in there for the time being and see um, once we start getting some more planter containers in the garden, I can just move them to there. So let's do this. It's so gloomy today. All right, we need a few things. Let's get it. somebody checking in the back for me because there's two things that I can't find. <laughs> All right, we got them. Okay, let's go look for some other things. So apparently my Dollar Tree sucks. There's like boxes everywhere, stuff's not unpacked, but this is kind of what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for a hanging candle holder like this that when I take this top off, I can glue onto, onto here. So it's gonna like sit on there. Let's see if it'll, yeah, see this will fit perfectly and I'm gonna hot glue it. So let's try to find three more of these. So unfortunately, they don't have the ones that I really wanted. I wanted the clear ones that have the little hanger, but they only had one, go figure, and I want to make four. So I'm gonna get these orange ones. They may not shine as bright, but I like the color. I think it'll add a little bit of color to the backyard, and they're cute, and that's all they got. So now I have to go find the steaks. Hmm. I'm not a fan of this Dollar Tree. <laughs> I should have went to a different one, but that's okay. I ended up not finding the steaks that I needed. Stay there, bag. Stay there. Um, so I got something else instead, and I'm going to put a little spin on this creation. So let's go home and make this. Okay. I am back home and this is the switch up that I had to do. So they didn't have any garden steaks, which I'll insert a little video here so that you can see what I'm talking about. In Pam's video, she has garden steaks that you can actually hang these lanterns from. They didn't have those, so they had these that you pretty much hang on. Will you get out of here? Stop it. That you hang on the on our fence post. So if you can see out there, I'll probably hang them from each of these posts, but we'll see when we get out there. And I thought that these were kind of cool too, because I don't know if it goes that way or if it goes this way, probably this way is smarter. Um, I figured I can hang a light from that first little hook and then I can still hang a planter, um, a hanging basket with flowers or sedum or whatever in there and it could still light up my hanging basket. So. That's my idea, and I'm gonna show you how to make these. So the items that you'll need is either, now I'm making four of them, so I'm gonna do four of these uh, wall fence post hangers, or you can do a garden stake. 
And then four solar lights, ones that have big enough tops, these tops that kind of come off to where you can glue them on to four of these little hanging candle jars, a glue gun and some glue sticks. Let's get started. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do is we are going to take the top of these garden stakes out. I really don't even have to do that. So you simply twist and they come right out. And this is the solar light. This is obviously how it's charged. So these are pretty much non-existent. You can pitch them, you can keep them if you ever wanna switch it up again. Make sure you pull the tab before you glue them on the tops of these because otherwise they won't light. So you wanna make sure you remove them. Test it out, it works. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to glue them to the tops. See how these fit nicely right on the top there? You wanna just put a little glue around the top of these. And then what's pretty cool, what Pam mentioned is if the batteries on these go out or you need to replace it with a new one over time, you can always just peel back the hot glue and it'll come right off and it won't damage anything. So let's see if my glue gun's ready here. All the way around the top, the sides. Hot glue is obviously clear. You get the clear sticks. These cost close to nothing on Amazon. I'll make sure I link some glue sticks, this glue gun. I'll try to find the same solar lights and these on Amazon, but you're pretty much better off trying to get this stuff at the dollar store. I'm not sure if you can get a hot glue gun at the dollar store. This is the Easy Home brand. It's my daughter's, so I kind of just stole it from her today. I'm gonna apply one more layer around the top here. I'm not a crafty person, so bear with me. That's pretty much it. And I mean, you're not gonna be able to see that glue unless you look like right up close to it. You just made a little solar light. How cool is that? So then obviously what I'm planning on doing is hanging this up, hanging that off of this one. If you can see that, I'll show you outside. And then I can still hang a hanging planter off of the other one. I love that alternate plan to use these as opposed to those garden stakes um, in a pinch because it kind of works the same way. All right, guys, let's go hang them outside. I'm going to finish these up and then we're going to get hanging them outside. put it on this one here look how cute and guys if you can picture a hanging basket hanging from here down like right here that would give it plenty of space to clear the top of this solar light which is like a tiki torch solar light I'll have that linked in the description too 
Um, I think that'll look really cute. This whole setup only cost $3 and some change with tax. This was a dollar. This candle holder was a dollar. And then the solar light, oops, sorry. The solar light was a dollar. So $3 and some change. I'm sure it would be much more expensive if you bought it as a set in the store or on Amazon. Um, the hot glue and the glue gun, I only used one hot glue stick. So let's put the other one up here. Oh, it's a little crooked there. Do that, there we go. Look how cute! I happen to love them. So now I just need to get some hanging baskets. <laughs> Be sure to follow me on Instagram, guys. I'll go ahead and I'll send an update in my stories so you guys can see the update with how it looks with the hanging basket. You can follow me at my clean leaves and make sure to go follow Pam at MN Plant Mom on Instagram. And I'm so thankful for you for sharing these ideas. So I'd say it's a pretty inexpensive decoration for your garden. I actually got a white one as well because it was the only white one they had and I was like, you know what, I have to get it. So I think I might hang that one over on the far end or maybe even on the tree. I'm not sure. But thanks so much guys for joining me in this quick little DIY video. I don't do these very often, so I appreciate you stopping in. Hopefully I can help some of you guys out there create your own. Thanks again, Pam, for the idea. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.